Hello everybody, it is time to make another special item and today we are actually going to make a mug. This is a design that I got off of Etsy and I messed up on this one a little bit. So we're going to actually make something. We're going to make this mug again, but even better. So I'm going to share with you guys the items that you need and then I will show you guys the tumbler that we have. So the first thing that you need is obviously a mug. Like I said, I got this mug at Michael's. Um, it is a regular uh, sublimation mug. I actually have it peeled off all the stickers and then I actually cleaned it up. So it's all cleaned up, ready to go. And then you will also need a sublimation printer. I do have a Canon, uh, no, an Epson sublimation printer. I will have the link of the printer that I have below, but my printer is actually down in the basement. And then I ended up using, or I ended up printing off my design. Now I use Canva, and I will make another video on what I do, but I use Canva. I measured the size of the cup. And then, I, like I said, I got this design. And then the one thing you want to make sure you do when you do mugs or tumblers, you want to make sure, if it has words on it, that you um, flip your design. So as you guys can see, you can see what it says here. You want to make sure when you read it like this way, it's backwards. Because otherwise, when you sublimate it to your cup, it will be backwards. So this is what it looks like right here. The paper that I am using, and you guys will need scissors if you need them. Um, the paper that I'm using is a sub. It is 125 G. This is eight and a half by 11 sublimation paper. Pretty easy. Um, this is the back, the one that has the wording on it. And then the stuff that does not have the wording on it is just a plain. I printed off tons of sheets of paper already. Love this paper. Do not have any problems with it so that is what I need. I also have heat tape. Now I have some smaller tape and I have some bigger tape but I've noticed lately that I actually like the bigger tape. I think I might be getting the medium sized tape and see what one I like but I do need to get another tape dispenser but you will need some heat tape. You will need some gloves. These are heat resistant gloves so you got that and then we also have a trimmer. Um, that you will need to trim this down. So what I'm going to do is trim this down and then we're going to tape the design onto the mug. So the next thing you want to do is make sure your cup is clean and I said I cleaned it. Now my trimmer does not trim very smoothly. I have to actually get it sharpened or get a new blade. But what we're going to do is just kind of make sure that it lines up. And then you want to make sure you have it evenly lined up along the cup. So if it's touching the ground, you can have it do that. But I want to make sure it's like even here. So what I'm going to do next is make sure all the bubbles are out. Make sure it's nice and even. Like this. And I want to make sure it's even like where my cup is. Now one thing I've noticed when I do put these in my press, you don't want to have that print go all the way to the edge because my press doesn't go all that way. So I think this is pretty much okay. So we're gonna take is one thing of tape and you're gonna just take some tape right here and you're just gonna press down on it making sure everything is even. And then you gotta make sure you really smooth it out here because you wanna make sure that there's no bubbles inside and then you wanna make sure it's even just like it is with that other cup. Um, so it's a little bit crooked, so I'm just going to straighten it out a little bit. And it looks just about even as the other one. And then I lose my tape as I need it. That's great. And then we're going to press along here. And voila. Now I made my tape a little bit short. I recommend kind of going all the way to the edges if you guys can do that. Um, and it prevents it from lifting when it's in the press. So pretty easy like that. Just hard doing it with one hand, kind of. But uh, like that. Now we're going to go to the tumbler, the tumbler press. And I'll show you guys what to do next. This is the heat press that I use. It is the Vivor tumbler press. You could actually make tumblers with it and you can make mugs. It is pretty easy, but what I'm going to show you guys this is I already made a video with the tumblers. I will put the link below so you guys can watch it, but today we're actually going to make a mug and they actually give you an insert for the mug. 
And here is the insert for the mug. Now you could put your mug in here if you wanted to, however, I'm gonna change it out. So the best thing to do is to change this is you have these little, um, these little screws right here. You're gonna just screw all eight of these out and then we're gonna switch to the mug tumbler press. So here I have them unscrewed. All you do is just kind of pinch it and it's just like that, super easy. And then you also, which I forgot to do, you also want to make sure you unscrew it right here. This is where you plug in to get the heat and it just pulls out super easy, just four little prongs. The next thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna pinch this and you're gonna make sure your cord is a little bit to the right. And then we're gonna slide it underneath like this. And then you're just gonna make sure, it's hard to do it with one hand, but you're gonna make sure that you have it where it rests on that and this. And there is ready for the mug press. And then you'll just take four of these little screws that we have right here. And you're just gonna screw them all on. Okay, so I have it all in there nice and tight. I actually plugged this in also. This is the mug that I'm gonna be using. So what I'm gonna do while it is off is I'm gonna make sure that it is a tight fit. It might be a little, that's a little too tight. So what I have to do is I have to loosen this because you don't want to break it. So you just screw it down a little bit. Again, that's a little too tight. So we're just gonna continue loosening it until I can go all the way down and that is a little bit still a little bit looser but I will or still a little bit snug but I will loosen it in a second okay so this mug I actually got at Michael's and there's instructions on this mug and it says that I need to have it um, preheated to a certain de uh, degree so right here it says for best results preheat the mug press to 365 for 40 seconds um, so there was that, but I've done my research and if we're going to turn this on, I forgot to plug it in. Sorry, you guys forgot to plug it in. So we're going to plug it in and then we're going to turn it on. And right here we have three different settings. So this is my first setting that I have and I have it at 365 degrees for 75 seconds. And that's what I actually do my tumblers for. But one thing I absolutely love about this is you can save your settings so I don't want setting number one I have setting number two and here it's not even set at anything um, I thought I had it at one dimension or one degree but I must have changed it and then here is 395 for 31 seconds so um, you can actually program it and in order to program it you just um, you hit the settings button you can go up and down like that you hit the settings button again and you can change the dimension and then that is what's saved for that so pretty easy um, but I'm gonna figure out what I'm going to heat up my mug at and we'll continue from there so here I showed you guys everything that you need to know we're gonna turn it on we're gonna make sure I have it on number two is what I have it I have it at set at 400 now I did have it for 50 seconds and I lifted off a corner of the mug and that was not anywhere near what I want to change it to so I'm not changing the, the uh, temperature I'm gonna change this to two minutes um, I've seen some people have it on a little bit longer it's however you want to do it but uh, two minutes is 120 seconds a lot of beeping yeah I'll just have it for 120 seconds and there it goes so now this is going to warm up to 400 degrees and then it'll start warming or it'll start beeping when it's ready this will continue beeping but the temperature is at now 400 degrees and all you're going to do is just take your cup you're going to slide it in having your little handle stick out like that kind of make sure it is centered and you just press it down like that it's a little bit of a jump to it and then the timer will slowly go down and we will see what happens next Okay, so now the timer has gone off and all you do is just lift it up and then I can sample it a little bit to see how well it is, um, but what we're going to do is take this off. Okay, let's take the tape off. It was sitting there for 
two minutes at 400 degrees. And this turned out better than before. Ah, it's really hot on the inside. Oh, but look at that. It turned out perfectly, you guys. This turned out to be the exact dimension that I wanted it to be. So here we have a nice little Christmas cup. It is a little off, but I can notice it. But super, super easy to make a mug and so inexpensive to make. So if you guys are interested in something like this, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. I will have a link for everything that I use, websites, all that fun stuff, but super easy to make a mug and this makes a perfect little Christmas gift. I absolutely love this tumbler press. I've used it so many times and it's by far the easiest thing to do and make stuff. So again, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more easy sublimation and craft deals. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.